Hi, I'm Angela Fair. I'm, today I'm trying out a new product that fits in your purse and makes watercolor just a little bit more colorful and fun. Let's take a look. So today I don't have a palette beside me. Instead I have these Viviva color sheets and these are a brand new product. They are just saturated pigment that is in the little booklet form. They look like paint swatches and they really are in the most literal sense because each little swatch here comes uh, saturated with pigment that you can use in your watercolor painting. And I think this is great for watercolor sketching anything that anytime you want to make your watercolor more portable and uh, I love the fact that I don't have to deal with when I'm done painting I don't have a messy juicy palette full of paint that might slosh around when I'm trying to travel with it so this this is really handy that way the booklet each uh, has uh, staggered edges so that you can see the different colors that are inside the booklet and as well each color is name is listed under the swatch itself which is really good because some of these colors you can't tell by looking like that does not look like Viridian to me so to have the name there is really helpful we're just going to give these a try and I could be showing you a, a little doodle in my sketchbook but I'm really not a sketchbook artist uh, as much as I would much prefer to bring a big sheet of good paper with me when I'm painting so we're going to use this and I'm just going to mist it so we have a wet and wet effect uh, you know that when I'm working with my palette, I would ordinarily mist my palette with water uh, to wake up the paint. And we don't need to do that with the Viviva sheets. In fact, you wouldn't want to because you don't want that pigment to run off these, uh, these little beautiful sheets here. So we're just going to pick up some color. And uh, I'm going to grab some of this vermilion. And it's a beautiful transparent orange. Where the color is concentrated the most, my color is really starting to flow uh, in a really beautiful way. So we're going to uh, add some more wet and wet painting here and get some really beautiful colors happening. So a quick spritz with water and then a just, just a little slash of orange. And you can see the beautiful glow that I have there. Uh, beautiful transparent orange and no muddiness to that, which I really like. Uh, I'm, I've dried in the meantime because I had like, some, some camera issues so we're going to just spritz it again and uh, that's a good test actually to see if this color migrates at all if it's going to lift and move and I can even go with my brush and just try and smear it around and you can see there's a little lifting of color a little pigment lifting off but not very much and that is partly to do with this, the amount of pigment I had on the paper if I were to lift a big chunk of scrub a big chunk of paint off here uh, I would see more movement this is chrome yellow let's oh and it's vibrant it's so bright uh, look at the beauty of that brilliant yellow sh uh, shade right there uh, let's uh, let, well, let's watch it move we'll add some water and we'll tilt a bit here and we'll give that color a chance to flow and I'm gonna let it uh, give it some room to bleed here and it's quite staining uh, as you can see it's not moving a ton from that first brush stroke and uh, some paints stain more than others but I am getting some some movement but not a lot so I like seeing colors that saturate uh, soak in quite well and that is uh, depends on your paper as well let's add some of the gold ochre which is down on the same page and uh, see what that one does and it's a little bit of a softer hue if you're looking for a more buttery tone you're, you're going to get that with the gold ochre spatter a little bit we're doing a nice loose vibrancy here looks like fire or uh, everything looks like a flower to me so that's probably what i'm going to end up doing I'm moving to the greens now this is light green and in my earlier experiments with light green, I noticed it really uh, had a tendency to flow into existing washes. So as I add that color, um, it's also going to follow that path of moisture and take a little ownership in other parts of the painting. Lots of vibrancy there. Um, as I flip through the colors, you know, the names really help me. It's very hard to tell what they are without seeing the name down below. And testing out those colors for yourself will help you have an idea of what to expect from each different pigment. This is the crimson. 
and I'm giving my flower shape a big flaming heart, a center part. Now let's try a few different things with our color sheets. One thing I like to do sometimes is spatter, so I'm going to grab my toothbrush and pick a different color. Let's try the Viridian. And just with a moist toothbrush, give my paint a little massage and I can spatter that in. The Viridian's a very vibrant green. I'd almost call that a phthalo green. And it's got a bit of turquoise to it too. So that spatter is quickly taking over and I think I'm going to have a blue finger now. Definitely. If you want people to know you're an artist but you're shy about saying so, just just touch, touch your paint a lot with your hands and it'll be pretty evident that you're dabbling in art. And we're going to go to the sap green now. I want some darker valued colors in my little sketch here. And a little sap green beside that. Red looks good. And it'll tone down some of the Viridian spray as well. I'm using quite a large brush so I am seeing more lifting of pigment off of the color sheets than you might get if you're planning to use it for travel purposes. There is, I would say there's a good amount of pigment that will, you'll have a, quite a lot of freedom to, to expect that it will serve you for lots of sketches. Some characteristics of the Viviva sheets that I've noticed, uh, they are quite staining so when you place that brush stroke, the shape of that brush stroke will often stay on your paper where you've placed it. Some of that has to do with how uh, water how resistant your paint, your paper is to washes. Some paper that has more sizing might allow for less staining. And uh, they, do, they do flow and blend with each other quite beautifully. If you're wanting to mix the color colors in your color sheet, if I want to make my own green, for example, using the blue and the yellow in here, I'm going to have to plan some kind of palette to mix on. Uh, you could probably, in a pinch, use a barrier sheet as a, as a mixing area for your, pa for your paint. But really, it would be easier to bring along a little plastic lid or a small plate to, to mix with so that you can mix your own colors. I really like the portability. Again, it's just a matter of let it closing it up and popping it back in my purse. Letting it dry is going to happen a lot more quickly than my palette as well. Uh, there's lots of color in here to work from. It says 16 colors and of course as soon as you start mixing you get a thousand more. So that's really handy. And overall what I like the most about these Viviva sheets is that they're just a lot of fun. Uh, working with something like this, it doesn't have the, the high pressure feeling that you can feel when you've brought out all your serious art supplies. Something like this is just meant to be a little more fun, a little more sketchy, and uh, to give you that opportunity to choose to paint even when the conditions aren't perfect. When you don't have a lot of space or a lot of time, uh, pull one of these out. Add a little wash to your pen and ink, perhaps. Uh, doodle in your sketchbook. Uh, try out the colors and experiment. See what you end up with. And, uh, and just have fun with it. And take that information from these sketches into your next painting. The Viva Color Sheets are a brand new product. They're available right now exclusively on Indiegogo. In the description below the video, you'll find links to the campaign on Indiegogo and how you can order your own Viviva color sheets. If this is something you want to support, I encourage you to do so now as the product's brand new and we can help them get off the ground. I love trying out new products, seeing how they fit into my working method or how they make me uh, think more creatively and try new things in watercolor. And Viviva Color Sheets do just that. By being so small and portable, I really feel like I had this sense of um, kind of fun, nothing to lose uh, when I was painting with them. And anytime I can feel more relaxed about my painting process, uh, that always comes through in my paintings and it's something I try to try to encourage.